So check this out. Look at Teddy. He looks like he's at a, at a retirement home. What does he feel to? Look at him. He's just relaxing, you know, like, oh yeah, life is good. Put my hand on my belly. TV all to himself. Living life. Living the American dream. Why don't you say something, Teddy? Go away. <laughs> Say something. Leave me alone. <laughs> My fellow Americans, all American have here. Boy, what a day. What a day. One thing I wanted to talk about was today, speaking of being grateful, if you saw my last video, I really appreciate what I have and, and going in with that is I just wanted to say that I, I just want to spread a positive message of hope. This is what this channel is about. And part of that is me helping you and motivating you to do things that might feel uncomfortable the way I'm doing this right now and recording myself for you guys. And in doing that, when it comes to your life, I, I want to motivate you in a positive way where if you are thinking that life has been unjust to you, or if you think that a lot of negative things have happened to you in your life and nothing's going the way that you think that you think that life should go your way, if you're playing a victim because of the color of your skin or because of your socioeconomic status or because of your culture, I just wanna let you know guys that every American in America has the opportunity to make something of themselves, which is one of the reasons as being homeless and if you've noticed in my channel how other fellow Americans and people trying to help me out and donating money to help me find a place with rent and everything. I've chosen not to go down that path. What I was trying to say was I did not accept the money. Again, no disrespect, but thank you for the offer. I just, I know I'll get it, I'll get out on my own. Thank you. Because I still believe that for me, due to my PTSD, I put myself in that place. I engage in certain behaviors that led me to put myself in that place and now I'm trying to get out of it and no disrespect to anyone or anybody who's trying to help me but I feel that if I got myself into it I can get out of it and being born in America we all have the same opportunities that everybody thinks they don't or they do have if you think that you have privilege or you don't have privilege stop thinking that way what I'm trying to say is have a positive mind in your life if, if you think stereotypically that you're being targeted, it might be so, it might be true, it might not be true. But know this, if you keep thinking that way, you will be miserable and your life will be horrible. Start thinking of ways that you can manage certain things in your life that you can control. Like, if you don't have enough money, don't spend on frivolous things. Don't spend money on things you don't need. Self-discipline financially. Like if you if you want to become something big in life, there are ways to do it with education, college. I'm going to college in September. You know, I'm gonna help myself better my mind to become a better human being. The reason I'm saying it is I'm not attacking or trying to tell anyone what to do. I'm just trying to motivate you guys that that you can change your frame of mind. You, if, if you see things as, as negative as you are or pessimistic in your life, maybe reframe your mind to think in a positive look, in a positive outlook. Because when you do so, I know I have been blessed. Every time something goes bad in my life, I, I, don't, I don't take that and dwell on that and, and have a pity party. I get myself out of that by motivating myself and thinking what's another avenue of approach that I can make it happen. You know, I, I think about the ways that, how I got myself there. Like right now, I'm homeless, right? I'm finding ways to save up money, to find a place so I can live productively in society and in, and in the community that I wanna live in. I don't wanna associate myself with certain humans that might bring me down. What I'm trying to say to you guys is, if you want to live life that is, give me a second. One of my hairs is my favorite. There we go. If you want to live a positive life and have positive experiences, think positive, my friends. Don't dwell on the negative. 
if, if, if something gets shot down in your life, think about the blessings that you do have. Motivate yourself to become a better version of yourself than yesterday. This is what I try to do every day. I do have my times that I feel down, but I put things in place like running to help me motivate myself. Just remember that is, what I'm trying to say is just reframe your mind. And this way you will have, especially if, if you believe in God the way I do, I count my blessings and I appreciate for what I have. Just doing that allows me to accept where I am and how to move forward in my life. I never try and compare myself with anyone else. And if you're suffering from comparing yourself to other people, then maybe reframe your mind as to why is that being valuable to you. Everything goes down into how you want to live your life. Yeah, and if you want to live your life the American way and follow the pursuit of happiness, then reframe your mind, America. <laughs> oh, liberty and freedom. Smells so good. And now, for a comedic break. Check this out, look at Teddy, he's so funny. Lothi, I'm home! Teddy. Hi. What are you doing? Did you put this, this trash bag here as, as, a, as a holding the door? Teddy, you know we have group, right? Like now. Oh, you bastard! Don't you throw water at me? <laughs> you waited again? <laughs> Yeah, he's thinking. <laughs> oh, we have group Teddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that that every day is a blessing with Teddy. <laughs> okay, wait, I gotta I gotta get to group now. I have to call him. One thing that's really weird to me is when I'm recording myself, other people are looking at me. Like I'm a crazy mad person, like this car is about to pass me right now. They're just wondering, hi. Yeah, well, whatever. Just wanted to let you know that. It's very uncomfortable. It's just weird. Think, think about, think about this. Picture yourself recording yourself, or try it. Record yourself in public, and then just see how many people look at you, judging you, you know? I, I usually don't care. Uh, about what other people think, but it's just very uncomfortable like just wondering what they're thinking like do you think do they think I'm a terrorist or something trying to record the area or <laughs> like the other day I'm looking ahead for my future and of where I want to live I'm gonna need a car a vehicle and in the past I used to have like sports cars and four-door cars like like low cars I forget what they're called they're just vehicles that they're not like trucks or SUVs or crossovers so now that this is a new chapter of my life, I've been thinking of purchasing a, a mid-sized car or an SUV. In doing so, sorry, there's like poop everywhere, guys, if you guys see that. So I'm trying to look at you but not step on it at the same time. Where I'm going with that is that the other day, I, I was going through the parking lots looking at other people's cars, right? Not shady at all. I was wearing all black that day, the one day that I don't wear red, white, and blue. I'm wearing all black and I'm just looking through people's cars and just like, I, like honestly, this is what I was looking at. I was looking to see the space inside, what kind of cars they had. Apparently there's a lot of Nissan Rogues around. And so, and Honda CRVs. And I was just looking through them, you know? Like honestly, I just wanted to know how big they were, the space inside, the year, the model, you know, just, I was curious because it's different from seeing pictures online and, and in real life. So then as I'm doing so, I'm like thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Other people might be thinking like, what am I trying to do? You know, like it's kind of a shady thing to do to look at other people's cars. But so I, I as soon as I thought of that, I stopped, especially when there's one person was looking at me and he just stood there staring at me. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, it, it, it was funny. Anywho, if you guys mind uh, commenting below and letting me know any good suggestions on what kind of cars or vehicles that I might like to use in the countryside of America, baby, uh, it'd be very useful to me. And so guys, with that said, if you enjoyed this video, I know I've talked a lot today. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, comment below, give a likes, 
yeah smash that like button and um don't forget to subscribe do it do it click the notifications to all if you like this more funny enjoyable content will come next week i i'll show you i i promise that it's just uh been very busy this week very busy <laughs> looking at cars all right guys i'll let you be and uh stay alert stay alive progress not perfection america <laughs>